Namaste. I am Maraha Kahanakar, and it is a pleasure to be before you. <coughs> the god Ganesh was not always the full adult figure that you may think of when you see his images here and there. For he started as a child and grew up with his parents. And he had his childhood days, much like a human being would. And his mother had the challenges of dealing with the child, much like a human mother would. For Lady Parvati had many responsibilities, and Ganesh was just one. And so there they were in their small house up on Mount Kalaika, in the Himalayas. Lord Shiva, the destroyer and recreator, off on errands, as was, as was so often the case. And the Lady Parvati, his consort, at home with their son Ganesh, he of the kindly face, the elephant ears, the long trunk, the husky body, and the appetite to match. Parvati is a competent, competent being, and managed to keep her son fed and entertained. But at times, it was difficult. And like many another parent, one day when Ganesh was moping around the house, oh, I don't want to play with that toy, I don't want to play with that toy, I don't want to read a book, I don't want to watch the clouds. Well, dear, go outside and play. I have responsibilities. Remember, I am not just your mother, Lady Parvati, but I am also Uma, and I am also Shakti. Oh, all right, said Ganesh. And he went outside, and he moped his way over to some bushes, and he moped his way off to the other, other side of the, of the land, of the property. Nothing really grabbed his attention until he saw a likely shaped stick. And he picked it up, and he said, you know, that kind of looks like a baton, like, like, like a commander and an army would carry. And so he amused himself by pretending that a vast army was about him and they were attacking an enemy. And so, oh yes, charge here and move troops there. And he was having a great deal of fun when he saw behind the bushes a cat, a small cat, a house cat. Ah, he said, the enemy is approaching, attack! And he charged the bushes and began to beat around the bushes with his baton. And then he chased the cat through the bushes and into a field. And through the field across some mud. And across the mud, <coughs> pardon me, and through the mud and around the outside of the house. And to and fro and back and forth for what seemed like hours possibly even longer to the cat. <laughs> Ganesh continued his martial activities. And so it was, he finally hit the point where he stopped. He said, it feels like supper time. So he made his way back to the house and began to go from room to room. Ma! Ma! I'm hungry! Ma! Where are you? I'm here, said Parvati. <laughs> there she was in the doorway, and oh, this was not the neat and tidy mother he had left inside a few hours before. No, she was scratched. She had brambles in her hair. Her clothes were torn. 
like she was bruised and battered. And Ganesh said, what has happened to you? And she said, what did you do when I sent you outside? And he said, well, I played Mill Army. You know, and, and, and she said, what else? Did you, did you play alone? He said, well, I did for a while, but I found this cat. And the cat was the enemy. And what did you do with the cat? Oh, I chased it all over the place. Ganesh, said Parvati, when I said I was Shakti, do you know what that means? And he thought about it. He says, well, you're female. And she said, well, yes. That kind of, go, kind of comes with being your mommy. <laughs> and he said, I don't know. And she said, because I am Shakti. I am the spirit of life in all things. And when you chased that cat all over the mountaintop and through the mud and through the fields and through the bushes, you also chased me. And hence I look as I do. And Ganesh got on his knees and he apologized. And he swore never to harm a never living creature. And so it is to, his, to this day that although Ganesh may vanquish his enemies, he does not kill them.